Hey guys, Zach Mars here, and this is my review of Danny Phantom. Okay, so this episode, Forever Phantom, is interesting in that uh, Danny kind of learns that uh, it's not all it's cracked up to be to be in the spotlight. So. Essentially, what happens is because Danny has saved a couple people that, at this point, he's been, he's starting to become a bit, a bit famous as a superhero. He is now, you know, start, starting to be a lot more and more in the spotlight, which angers another ghost that appears during this episode who also likes being in the spotlight. He openly admit, he openly admits that he uh, enjoy like this. The, there's a new villain that he just enjoys being, you know, the center of attention. And case in point, we do meet him at the start of the episode. So the episode does open up with a series of pranks that are just, that are just bizarre. Um, first, first and foremost, we have Paulina suddenly acting well, suddenly acting out a character to trip up her fellow uh, what is it to trip up her fellow cheerleaders a cheerleader try at a at a football game. Which uh, with the real put with Paulina being very visibly confused after the fact, just kind of showing up showing up later and being very confused as to why everybody suddenly flopped in the mud. And while, uh, and next we find out that, uh, that, uh, that, that Tucker's father, um, during, during their home meals, suddenly, suddenly, suddenly comes home and start, and just, he takes a huge butt out of the meatloaf before sticking on his wife's head, at which point he suddenly, at which point he suddenly leaps out the window, and then comes, and then comes in the door a minute later, very confused as to what happens. And the final of these is that, and this is also fitting in Dash's character that there's a bit more deeper stuff going on to him, is that uh, he's playing with his dog, with his dog Pookie in the park, and uh, Pookie's a little Chihuahua dog. So you're not gonna picture him if you know what a Chihuahua looks like. You have a rough idea of what Dash's dog is. But uh, it's this point where, uh, that where, where of course, the, the, where of course uh, Dash is playing in the park when a, when a police officer stops him and tells him that uh, he needs to ha he needs to have a leash on his dog if he's got if he's gonna be. Out, out in the park, but uh, of course we find, and of course what we find out from Dash is that Pookie has never attacked another hu a, a human being in his life, and is and is generally too sweet a dog to actually do anything. And uh, of course the officer, after getting clo getting close to Pook Pookie, does pet him pet him on the head a little bit and concludes that it's probably fine for now, until Pookie suddenly starts acting out and attacks the police officer, much to Dash's confusion and frustration. Because po well, the thing is, Pookie wanted to go fetch a frisbee. Came back very confused as well. Now has no idea what's going, what what, what happened. But uh, in any case, we find out that all of these weird instances are actually caused by a ghost named Amorpho, who, true to his name, can change his shape. But we, what we find out is that uh, he has no face of his own. So uh, he, of course, is really this is which is why he's so dedicated to shape shifting. It's his main power, and it lets him be somebody else for a bit. Which uh, of course he's ha which of course makes him happy and. Uh, Kind of relishing in some of the chaos he's caused, he leaves. Uh, meanwhile, we find out that he leaves. To go, we find out that he leaves to go cause yet another incident. This time, he pretends to be a black cat and wanders out in front of a group of school children in, in front of a, a bus containing a group of school children, which Danny then proceeds to rescue. And everybody and everybody on the on the on the uh, bus is happy because they got saved by a famous superhero and the protector of Amity Park. <laughs> and uh, and of course Danny does does that does tell them to be more careful, but uh, pointing out that there's easier that he understands that school is a bit boring, but uh, there are easier ways to get a, to get it to get around traffic and other things. But uh, in case he then proceeds to go look for the cat, only to discover that the cat has disappeared, and concluding that it most likely got spooked and wandered and wandered off, um, he decides to leave, unaware that the cat is in fact secretly a morpho who uh, does once again does once again notes that. Uh, Danny is actually that Danny actually seems to be pretty famous himself, and uh, he does not, and that but and does admit that uh, he that, that he understand that he understands that, but uh, also admits that uh, he was only trying to trying to have fun, and uh, admits that the prank had gotten a little out of hand, and uh, though he doesn't like Danny, he doesn't he admits that he doesn't like that Danny is also is also a spotlight hog. He does point out that Dan, that did that it was fortunate fortunate that Danny happened to be around because. If he, if he had accidentally killed, he's uh, he establishes that he wasn't trying to kill anybody. He was just trying to he was just trying to play harmless pranks. And the fact that he almost killed somebody worries him. But uh, he does admit that he does admit that even though he does admit that to, uh, that he's happy that uh, 
is that that word of his pranks are spreading around, pointing out that news travels fast. But uh, then he discovers that a new that a new uh, the issue of the of the uh, newspaper has already been printed, which uh, he remarks is a bit too fast. And uh, ultimately concluding that uh, he's not really happy about about the fact that Danny is, is trying to steal his spotlight you know, unintentionally, of course. Um, he declares that he'll do the same the same thing to Danny and proceeds to shapeshift into Danny Phantom, which. Uh, and of which, of course, winds up being a conflict, a major conflict of the episode. But uh, meanwhile, we find out that uh, there is one, there is a group of people who don't particularly approve of Danny's new, uh, of Danny's, you know, heroic acts. Obviously, Danny's parents. They are still very much skeptical about the fa about whether or not Danny is putting on an, about whether or not Danny Phantom is putting on an act or not. As well, obviously, as well, obviously, he's done a lot of good. They also remember some of the times where he didn't do so such a good job of taking care of taking care of Amity Park, which admittedly wasn't entirely his fault. But uh, the two the instances that they bring up were from public were from public enemies and the fright before Christmas, both of which were not Danny's fault. In both of those situations, there was a there was an unseen ghost antagonist who was trying to deliberately ruin Danny Danny's image. So not entirely his fault, but. Uh, but but Jazz of course disagrees with her parents, claiming that uh, you know they are obviously work that she's obviously ha very happy that uh, Danny about all the good Danny's doing. But uh, meanwhile Danny but meanwhile Danny is uh, but meanwhile Jack just in case is working on a new invention the, the which he refers to uh, which he I don't know the exact name but uh, it's, it's called Fenton Power Stopper of Fire or whatever or something along those lines. And uh, essentially, it is exactly what you, what it says on the box. It is a device designed to rid up a, a Reddit ghost of their ghost powers, which, uh, of course, is a which of course is a it should it's gonna report, provide the main conflict of the episode. But uh, of course, of course, Stan, of course, j j of course, Jazz just sarcastically remarks that he, that she's curious if he can even spell that. But uh, of course, and of course, Danny, of course, is not particularly happy about the fact that his family is, you know. Being annoying, being an, being kind of annoying about the fact that uh, his alter ego is, you know, not is a quote unquote super villain in disguise. So he leaves. He gets ready to leave and go and go to school. So he start. So he starts leaving. But uh, well, well, Jack just com. This is a really funny gag. But uh, of course, Jack just comments on the fact that uh, Danny just seen, comes off as a bit narcissistic to him, which is saying something because th this is immediately followed up by a mo mini montage. Of all the times Jack has named has named something after himself, case in point, it just reveals a bunch of new inventions that he named after himself, and uh, and of course, including Fenton Toast, which is in his, designed to look like his face, uh, F Fenton, uh, the Fenton Toaster, which is designed to look like his face, which is designed to print it in his face, um, the Fenton, the Fenton, Fenton Jam, which is named after him, and a whole bunch of other, and you know, it's just making breakfast about that. But in case Danny does in fact help himself to a piece of Fenton toast, and uh, does wind up and does wind up leaving leaving to go to school. But uh, in any case, it is at this point where uh, they, where where Morpho sees sees Danny leaving the school and believe is leaving for school and believes it's the perfect time to ruin his reputation. But uh, quickly discovers that Danny has the ability to ch to change into a, to change between his ghost mode and his human mode, which uh, of course causes a Morpho to once again become angry at Danny, believing that Danny is. Un again, unintentionally, but believes that Danny is stealing his shtick, which is, you know, turning into other people. And, uh, and realizing, but realizing he can, in fact, use this to an advantage, he then proceeds to shapeshift into Danny's human form and walks back into the house. And, uh, and meanwhile, Danny is trying to get, is trying to make his way to school when, uh, he suddenly, but of what we quickly find out is that Danny can't go anywhere without being mobbed. He, tries to fly around, he tries to fly through the, he tries to fly through the air, he gets con confronted by, uh, news, by news, by news helicopters, which, uh, he tries to avoid. He tries to go, he tries to go ped pedestrian on the streets. He discovers that kids are waiting for, are, are waiting for him and trying to pass him. And, uh, Danny, of course, just blurts out a very, various, uh, helpful advice when, after, as, after he's being mobbed and, uh, before flying off to go fi find a new place to hide. And eventually he does wind up using his intangibility to, Get away from the crowd, and uh, but uh, and, and points out that, that that he'll have to f take the long way around to school and go and go the normal way. And but uh, quickly discover and but quickly discovers that somebody is trying to sneak into his house. We quickly discover that uh, he quickly discovers that uh, you know he sees himself, which she points out is very bizarre. But uh, in case, and Morpho, disguised as Danny, then walks into the house and uh, 
does pretend to be da to pretend to be Danny, but isn't a very good job doing a very good job of it. And obviously, he's supposed to be going to school, which of course causes everybody everybody to become even more confused. But uh, you know, he does walk around the he does walk around the house a little bit, and uh, he eventually discovers Jazz working on her scrapbook of, of Danny Phantom, which uh, he does know he does know must have taken her a long time. And she does point point out that he's happy that she's taking that, that he's taking an interest in uh, her scrapbooking. But it's at this point where he proceeds, where Morpho then proceeds to rip the scrapbook apart, which, uh, of course he proceeds to remark that may have may it should have lowered his opinion of him, but, uh, we of course find, or of course we find out we've, we, of course at this point where the real Danny then proceeds to come in and attacks a Morpho, which of course, with, with, uh, uh with, with, of course, uh, Jazz pointing out that she knew that her brother didn't have secretly have scrapbooking destroying tendencies, but, uh, and, so the, and of course, it's at this point where Morpho and Dan, and Danny do proceed to fight in the hallway for a little minute, for a brief minute. But then it's all of, all of a sudden his parents come out, and uh, here's the thing: obviously, Danny is disguised as Danny as as uh, is in his Danny Phantom mode. He's in his ghost mode, while uh, Morpho is disguised as Danny. And so Morpho immediately takes in the opportunity to make it look like that uh, Danny Phantom is attacking their son. Which of course is not true, um, and uh, and Danny tries to warn them that it's act that their son is actually being disguised as a as a ghost, and uh, but uh, it's at this point where Morpho concludes that uh, he's he's bitten off more than he can chew here, and decides to, and decides to leave while Danny tries to deal with his parents. But uh, and of course, they're they're ult ultimately their fight brings the roof down on their head, so uh, Danny has to use his ghost shield to keep his parents safe, and and with that he then proceeds to. Find, to look for a Morpho and eventually take, chases him down into the basement, where uh, you've got, where Danny of course remarks that he doesn't know who a Morpho is, but would very much appreciate it if he would stop mimicking if he would stop mimicking Danny. And of course, and of course, it's, it's at this point where they do fight for a moment, but uh, in the process, they accidentally activate, activate the bar, the, Dan, the Fenton stopper of fire thing, and uh, in the process, this causes a Morpho to be. This causes that both a Morpho and Danny to get hit by it. And, uh, and Morpho makes himself scare, makes himself scarce, um, br very briefly, but, uh, he, he winds up immediately leaving while, uh, Danny is, of course, alone in the basement in his ghost mode, and his parents are immediately barge downstairs to try and tear Danny Phantom apart but molecule by molecule. So, uh, Danny tries to change back from his ghost mode, but discovers that he can't, which starts to worry him. And, of course, case in point, his parents immediately come downstairs and, uh, and try to splash at him while well, Jazz tries to stop them from attacking him, but uh, that of course does not work out as well as you would expect, and Danny is forced to flee. And uh, and realizing he's in, he's in, in very big very big danger, pointing out that uh, obviously because he's stuck in his ghost mode, that means he's both a getting mobbed by people, but also his parents are now currently chasing after him. So he immediately goes to uh, Tucker. He immediately goes to uh, Tucker's to uh, Tucker and to Tucker's house where. Uh, he does proceed to try and where they do a remark that they were that they, he, they were supposed to meet up with him for school, which uh, of course he's very visibly confused as to why he's why he hasn't see, met with them yet, pointing out that they might be late. But uh, of course, what we quickly discover is that Danny then proceeds to fly into the room, and they understand immediately. He proceeds to explain that uh, he's that he's currently stuck in his ghost mode and is currently unable to change back, which uh, of course, which of course, they, which of course. Uh, Tucker points out doesn't seem like that's big, a big of a problem until say, until 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 uh, what is it? Jack and Jack and Maddie proceed to blur, burst through the wall, and Sam and Tucker are forced to hide Danny. Forced to hide Danny. Um and uh, for and while Danny well they, well of course they don't see Danny Phantom right away and wonder if he and wonder if they've seen their boy wonder if they've seen their son as well as well as, as well as Danny Phantom and of course. Sam immediately covers for Danny, pointing out that they have not seen him at all, but admits that he probably went to school already. But uh, and of course, and of course, believing that the, believing that everything will be fine, they decide that they're not going to rest until they find Dan until they find Danny. So they proceed to leave. But uh, with Maddie just kind of sighing about, uh, sighing about the fact that her that her husband has destroyed a wall twice, and concluding that and telling the, and telling the two of them to just send her the bill, send her the bill, so that they can get it fixed. But. Uh, in any case, they both they both leave. Well, Dan, well, of course, well, of course, Sam immediately understands the problem understands the problem about why Danny is uh, being unable to transform back. But uh, Danny, of course, proceeds to point out that it all happened when they got hit with the power stopper fire in the basement. So uh, he admits that uh, that he was fighting a new ghost named Amorpho and that he needs to find Amorpho so that they can get a fit so that he can fix both of them. Which uh, 
And of course, she, and of course, they admit that uh, it should be fine. That it should be fine. But they do. They would admit in the meantime they have to figure out a way to keep Danny's parents away from Danny so that he can do his thing. And of course, how the way they decide to do that is by disguising Tucker as Danny. And Danny claim and and quote unquote Danny claims that his face has been mauled off and that uh, by uh, Danny Fan by Danny Phantom and that his and that he's hideous and that his parents shouldn't look at him. At which point, but before t either Jack or Manny can get a good look at their at their quote unquote son, that he flees. Well, with with Sam pointing out that they'll relay to keep da to keep Danny away from a, you know that they'll relay to keep da to keep uh, Danny's parents away from him while he goes to find a Morpho. Um, and Danny thanking them leaves. At which point. Um, then, at which point, uh, did we find out that Amorpho is actually currently struggling a lot with, uh, you know, his, with, with his, with his appearance and all these other things. We find out that Amorpho can't, is, can't actually change back into himself. He is currently stuck being, being whoever he's currently shapeshifted as, which is a, which is a, obviously a problem for him. He doesn't know, he doesn't know why his powers aren't working, but, uh, but he realizes that, uh, it should be fine since he's, in his own words, he's, he's disguised as some nobody, so he, th he so he thinks he'll be probably be fine to you know pretend to be to pretend to be uh, Danny F Fainton for the time being. But uh, then we find out that uh, in the process, they are kind of, we find out that uh, Danny's parents are also running a massive billboard campaign to try and find their son and have his name plastered everywhere. So if Anamorpho quickly realizes that no, he cannot in fact disguise himself as Danny. So uh, he concludes that uh, until he can figure out why his powers aren't working. He will have to disguise himself as somebody that uh, nobody will actually suspect. At which point he sees Mr. L Mr. Lancer trying and failing to relate to kids, and so he and so he decides that Mr. Lancer is probably the best opportunity the best opportunity to disguise himself as. And uh, and of course disguise and of course concluding that Mr. L Lancer will make a great disguise. He just wanders around the school for a bit, hoping that he can lay low until he can figure out why his powers aren't working. But it's at this point where he winds up being subject to a prank. From the students, which of course, which of course causes him, which of course he, he's like completely confused because he's obviously not Mr. Lancer, and I wonder what exactly is going on. But uh, they ultimately plan a giant kick me sign, which another kid kicks. He chases after the kids and uh, winds up slipping in, in a what is it, the, a janitor bucket full of water, which of course causes him to land on his back. And uh, realizing he's still very high profile, he turns around the corner and discovers yet another Mr. Lancer. Which of course confuse and Mr. and the real Mr. Lancer is confused, which uh and uh point and points out that he's not entirely sure why there's two of them why there's two of them two of him, but all he knows is that it's freaking him out and he then proceeds to pass out. And uh this results in the kids chasing after the quote quote unquote Mr. Lancer, which is really a morpho, and discovers that a mor that, a, that the two Mr. Lancers and also proceed to freak out. But uh it's at this point where uh Dan where Danny shows up and Realizing that there are in fact two Mr. Lancers, he concludes that one of them must be a Morpho. And sure enough, he discovers the he discovers the red eyes that are the telltale sign that a Morpho is pretending to be somebody, and eventually go, and eventually chases after the fake Mr. Lancer and uh, confront and confronts him, and uh, telling them that telling them that he needs to get them back to the basement and fix whatever's wrong with them. I'm um, pointing out that and uh, of course, uh, but uh, well, of course a Morpho pointing out that he would like nothing more than that. I'm proceeding to point out that uh, Mr. Lance uh, proceeding to point out that uh, his entire idea is that he just wants to blend in and be and have fun. But uh, he can't obviously do that if he's for if he's unable to if he's unable to you know use his disguise use take disguises. Well, uh, Danny admit well Danny admits that uh, he's a, well that admits that he would just like to return return to not being in the spotlight anymore. Pointing out that uh, he can't go he can't leave the house and he can't go around anymore without being harassed by fans. So. Uh, He's of course he's of course worried about the fact. He's of course points out that it'll benefit both of them if they just return everything back to normal. But uh, in case it's at this point where the kid, where case in point, the kids proceed to swarm the build, proceed to swarm the hallway, and but Danny uses his ghost rays to knock out the lights so that he and Amorpho can escape mostly undetected. And uh, and it's at this point where they run through the where they run through the hallway where where uh, in the in the interim, Sam has actually changed into Danny's clothes and is also continuing to follow to, to kind of run through the uh, hall run through the uh what is it he they, they he, she's changed into his clothes and has continued to run, run away from danny's parents and uh this conveniently causes Sam, this apparently causes danny and mr and mr and uh Amorpho to appear and uh to to see her and uh danny comments on why she's wearing his clothes which uh she points out that her parent that his parents are right behind her and case of point her parents barge in but her 
visibly confused as to what's going on with Mr. What's going on? Pointing out that uh, Danny Phantom seems to be with Mr. Lancer, and they have no idea what's going on. And uh, and of course, Dan, Danny remarks that he can't really ch can't really escape because he's obviously can't can't, can't get his, any of his powers to work. But uh, we then find out. Well, of course, we then we then more fun remarks that Danny's not the only ghost there. At which point, he uses his own intangibility in flight to. Get them as far, get them out of the out of the building and away from Dan, from Danny's parents, going through Jack, which causes him to shiver. And pointing out, remarking that he hates it when they do that. At which point, he proceeds to. At which point, they proceed to chase after. They proceed to continue to put chase after them. Now thinking that Mr. Lancer has been captured by Danny Phantom, which you know again is not true. But uh, in case, Amorpho then proceeds to. Bring them back to the house, pointing out that uh, all he wanted was to pull pranks. He didn't want to. He didn't want to get it stuck and stuck as stuck somebody else and, con and con constantly be in the spotlight. Which, uh, of course, Dan which of course Danny proceeds to point out that uh, he's admit he admits that he admits that he's also doesn't like being in the spotlight all that much. So he understands why Amorpho is frustrated with the idea of not really, you know, being able to turn back into his into his ghost form. But uh, eventually, although Mr. Although Amorpho's powers start to fizzle out. They then proceed to eventually make it back to the basement, where uh, they are then confronted by Dip, by Jack and Jack and Maddie, who uh, who are who once again, who demand to know what's going on and, what, and what's happening with Mr. Lancer and Danny Phantom. And uh, it's this point where they proceed to make a big play about the fact that uh, a morpho that uh, um, that Mr. Lancer actually captured Danny Phantom and was on his way to bring back bring him back to the Phantom Works, and Danny Phantom then proceed to overpower him, which. Uh, of course, causes which of course it's at this point where they then proceed to stage a massive fight to you know return every but return back to normal and uh, pretend to be and pretend to uh, pretend to fight to use the power activate the power stopper of fire and uh, eventually they get the they get the power stopper of fire to work which uh, enables them to turn back and to turn back to get all their ghost powers back. Obviously, Danny winds up being able to turn back into his human mode again, which makes him happy. While Amorpho is able to turn to, to no longer have to be forced to sh be shapeshifted to somebody else, he can now be himself again, which makes him happy. But uh, and of course, with that, um, Dan with that, Danny then, then concludes that if Amorpho wants the spotlight so bad, he can have it, pointing out that he's more than happy to just be take it low and just be Danny Fenton every once in a while. While Amorpho admits that uh, he does admit that he does admit that it is can be tiring of the spotlight and does appreciate that Danny was there to take it away from him a little bit. So. Uh, he, he, he of course admit, he of course admits that uh, they do they decide to come to a mutual understanding where uh, as long as Amorpho and Danny don't mess with each other they're they're square which uh, of course and of course Amorpho does does shake Danny's hand and and, and Danny hopes that he don't, never has to see Amorpho around Amity Park again and uh, Amorpho agrees to that but also admits that he has a has a very he he very much doubts that Danny will be able to tell the difference if he is in Am Amity Park or not and case in point he shapeshifts into Danny Phantom and uses. Danny and, you, and, and it proceeds to leave the building with uh, and of course at this point where Jack and Marty come up into the come up into the ki into the kitchen and wonder what happened and if Danny's all and then see their son and, and wonder if he's all right and uh, of course Danny proceeds to play off play off the the, the uh, claim that uh, Sam and Tucker made about how his face was horribly disfigured claiming that uh, after that Danny Fant after da Danny Phantom ultimately res not only rescued him but ultimately patched him up and before leave using his ghost powers before leaving and. Uh, just happy that their son is all right. They do pull him into a hug, but uh, also do wonder what what, ha what ultimately happened with Mr. Lancer, wondering where he went. And uh, it's at this point where the episode ends, where Mr. Lancer wakes up in the in the in the in the bathroom, and uh, he's a little confused as to what happened. But uh, he looks he looks around, believes everything is normal for the time being, and uh, and is of course and of course does remark that he that he did the dream that thinks it was just a dream that there were two of him, but. Uh, does pro but then proceeds to be very to become very narcissistic and remarks that uh, they broke the mold when they made him and that there's no way there anybody else can be can be can be him. But uh, it's at this point where the end of the episode ends with it being revealed that Mr. Lancer is actually in the girls' bathroom and he winds up getting slapped around by all the women in there who are very disturbed by the fact that he just showed up in their bathroom without any seeming seeming any seemingly any remorse and. Uh, this of course, and this of course causes a morpho to kind of end the episode by chuckling to himself as he flies toward the camera. But uh, in any case, that is the episode. That is the episode. The episode's fun. The episode itself is pretty fun. Um, obviously, the episode, uh, the the episode, obviously the episode is about how Danny's you know ghost powers kind of make him a spotlight and a center of attention a lot of the time, and that kind of winds up becoming and causing him to come in conflict with the morpho. 
who wants the spotlight. He wants to be he wants to be important, but uh, of course, he, Amorpho through this episode learns that uh, sometimes it's better to not always be in the spotlight. He admits that uh, he admits that he admits that uh, losing his ghost powers and being stuck in a human form for the prolonged period and being in the in the profile of several and several high profile characters well not necessarily high profile but definitely people that people are going to notice is it exist definitely made definitely made him uncomfortable he did he doesn't like uh, constantly being somebody somebody else he admit, he admits that he prefers to be himself sometimes as well so uh yeah, ultimately, the episode is about you know fame and what it does and what it can do do to people and put a spotlight on people who might not want to be in the spotlight. That's ultimately what the episode winds up being, and I do like that. But uh, in any case, that's gonna do it for my review. What'd you guys think? Let's get a discussion going in the comment section down below or over on my Discord server. Link in the description. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Also, next, uh, um, be, if you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to go check out my Discord because we are going to be watching a, watching the FNAF movie on this Sunday. Please go check that out. I would appreciate it if you would have joined the Discord. Go check out my Twitch. Um, we stream Saturdays and Sundays, normal days, so please go check that out. I would also be sure to go and check out my Patreon if you want to help support me. I would appreciate that. And also, finally, go check out the playlist linked in the end screen as well. The top video is the most recent playlist I did, which was Megas Month. I did a Megas XLR themed celebration for my birthday, so please go check that out. And then the bottom video is Courage Month, where I did a Courage the Cowardly Dog celebration for Halloween. So please go check that one out. And uh, also, fi also, finally, um, just go, yeah, just do all that. But in any case, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.